Obviously, with the COVID crisis, uh, we uh, started thinking about innovative ways how we can help. Um, actually, one evening I uh, read an article that stated uh, perhaps uh, how they would um, use and apply the ventilators currently available in South Africa, and I saw that they excluded uh, anybody above the age of 70. So basically, um, we uh, next day I phoned Harry, who's an engineer, I asked him, said, "Listen, Harry, we have to make a plan." to try and uh, figure out how we can make uh, you know, uh, enough ventilators. There's a couple of uh, prototypes we started with, obviously. So this is a second version of a couple of modifications. Um, it basically uses a electronic component, so very few of them, but it uses a, a plunger that presses down on a, on a really established uh, way of uh, delivering oxygenation, which is an ambu bag or an adult resuscitator. Um, so basically what it does, it sets uh, basic three components, uh, very crude components of uh, vital ventilation being uh, volume, uh, respiratory rate, as well as uh, you know, inspiratory expiratory ratio, and uh, very accurately uh, gives those three to, uh, to, to ventilate a patient in, a, in an emergency setting or in an emergency ventilator capacity. It's, it's quite scalable at this point in time. We're really doing all the fine tuning, all the gross tuning and all the gross things has been done already. So we basically, um, you know, because of the lockdown as well, as well it's kind of the components are very difficult to come by. Uh, we have to say that we are um, working with one of our partners uh, called Tech Invest, who is uh, you know, helping us in get in contact with corporates and, uh, and throughout Africa especially to try and get a message out there that there is something available which is uh, extremely cost effective compared to anything else.